Hi, I'm Bill DeVille, host of the United States of Americana. On The Current, this week an artist to know is Rhiannon Giddens, and there's so much to know about her. She was born in Greensboro, North Carolina. Giddens was interested in music from an early age, thanks to her musical parents, grandparents, and uncle. When she was 17 and participating in summer camp for gifted students, Giddens received a lot of positive feedback from teachers there and decided to pursue music studies at Oberlin College. While there, Giddens studied to be an opera singer, but she was fascinated by many other styles of music too. Beyond singing, Giddens is a virtuosic banjo player and fiddler. After college, Giddens worked as a graphic designer as she found her musical footing. Over time, she'd become captivated by folk music of the Carolina Piedmont, and eventually she founded the band Carolina Chocolate Drops, an African-American bluegrass band who blend a number of styles from traditional to modern. That group took home a Grammy in 2011 for Best Traditional Folk Album. They were even inducted into the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame in 2016. Beyond the Chocolate Drops, Rhiannon Giddens released a number of solo albums, beginning with their first full-length Tomorrow Is My Turn, which came out in 2015 and was produced by T-Bone Burnett. The album features Giddens covering songs by artists like Dolly Parton, Elizabeth Cotton, Sister Rosetta Tharp, and Nina Simone, as well as some traditional tunes, and a song by Giddens herself. Giddens would go on to release Freedom Highway in 2017, this time featuring more songs written by Giddens, but also some covers of Mississippi John Hurt and Pop Staples. All the songs on Freedom Highway spotlight the African-American experience through history up to now. And believe it or not, that's just the tip of the iceberg. She's collaborated with a whole bunch of artists and Giddens received a MacArthur Genius Grant in October 2017, which provided her the finances to explore even more musical possibilities. In February of this year, collaborating with musicians Amethyst Kaya, Layla McCalla, and Allison Russell, Giddens released Songs of Our Native Daughters for Smithsonian Folkways. The album takes an unflinching look at issues like slavery, racism, and sexism. It's a powerful album that doesn't sweep these important subjects under the rug. Giddens' most recent project is a collaboration with Dublin-based Italian musician Francesco Terissi on the album There Is No Other, released in May of 2019. The album was produced by Joe Henry and has received a ton of critical acclaim. We really don't have enough time to talk adequately about everything that Giddens has done, including appearing in the recent Ken Burns documentary, Country Music, but Giddens puts it best when summarizing her work. As she told WFAE's Tommy Tomlinson in 2015, quote, I feel like what I do as an artist is bridge things. I bridge classical and secular, I bridge black and white, I bridge country to blues. Even though that stuff doesn't really need bridges, that is something that I do. It's so great to listen to everything Rhiannon Giddens has done, and we're looking forward to what she'll do next. I'm excited to welcome Rhiannon Giddens for a studio session this week on my show. Hear that, along with other artists like Rhiannon Giddens on United States of Americana, Sunday from 8 until 10 a.m. Central on The Current.